Insecure So I endure How's it going? My name is John Merlo. I'm here on behalf of Sonable and I'm going to show you some new features within uh, the Smart EQ3 as well as the Smart Limit. So our, a lot of this stuff is the same. Uh, they have some new features for the EQ3. It allows you to, it, it always has the green band that allows you to boost and move around, but now one of the features that I enjoy a lot is being able to add uh, so you're able to add different sources. So if I put an EQ on all this, for example, these are backing vocals and we have a, uh, the, the lead, you're allowed to move these around according to the hierarchy of what you want to be pocketed in within the song. So for instance, I have all these loaded up, so our drum bus, our bass, and our sample. So I can load these up within the hierarchy and figure out what I want to go where. So for this particular song, I feel like the verse should be out in front, followed by the drums and possibly the bass, and I'm going to put all the backing vocals below that. So also my sample, I can put that up, yeah, probably up with this here. Off, I'm gonna, I gotta take that off. Insecure. Yeah, so this will allow you from one hub to take multiple sources and do your learning process where you'll click the learning button and everything is armed. You'll be able to play the track. So I endure. Sure. And it will set a curve, it'll set an EQ curve, and depending on what your group impact is set to, at 50, it'll be half. So what I'd like to do is to show you how I would do it, is I would start at zero, I would push play, and then I would creep up the track until I felt like I hit the sweet spot with the track. Insecure. So I endure. You're unsure. And that's where it would live from there. Then I can go back into each plugin and make corrections, make changes, whatever I had to do at that point. For the smart limiter, so this is a smart limit, it has parameters. It also has built-in loudness monitoring as well as loudness distortion monitoring. So uh, if you're an artist and you are not a mastering engineer, this is very helpful, it allows you to get your dynamics correct, allows you to get your loudness correct, and it will let you know if you are hitting something too hard or distorting something, and you can choose to address it or leave it if, if you choose to, if you like the way it sounds. So quickly right here, we'll go to our uh, distortion monitoring. We're gonna push play. Insecure. So I endure. And you can see we're getting a little bit of that distortion, but that's okay. If you really wanted to push it with saturation, you can see it really work. Insecure. So I endure. You are sure. Some of the other parameters that uh, will allow you to have some coloration is a soft and hard clip, a balance, which is like a tonal balance for the for the track as a whole and also a bass control. It'll give you a bump on the low end and it will also give you the, um, a tighter low end, right? So if you look at this X and Y axis here, you'll see this dark green line running down. That's kind of where we have our, our preset set. We've already like listened to it and, and allowed it to uh, listen to what we're doing. And then it sets our Spotify. There's multiple presets we can set. So for this case, we'll keep it at Spotify, which is negative 14 LUFS, and then we we click it, and you can see our arrow so is pretty consistently right there where our loudness meets our dynamics. Another thing for people that are not mastering engineers is it has a quality check. So let's say, for instance, my, my uh, input is extremely low. I'll go to quality check and I'll push play. It will listen to what you're doing. 
and it will give you recommendations. So raise the input gain to increase the loudness. So instantly it gives you like a little heads up on what you could do to, to optimize it. And once we go here, it'll, it'll listen to it again. Quality check. So now we'll raise it up and then we'll do another quality check. So I endure. You're sure. So now it's telling me that it looks good on the input and the level is good. It also gives me pretty pretty cool thing where it says what Spotify will do to meet their standards to the track. And they're gonna just turn it down, you know, four and a half dB, which is fine at that point. But yeah, that's pretty much in a nutshell. Uh, the new features in the limit and the EQ from Sonable. Insecure. So I endure. You're unsure. Wanting more. Yeah, I'm never enough. Pass me. Baggage in a backseat. 